If you really want to know how different a bison brisket is when compared to beef, this is the place to be. And there is nothing you can do to avoid it because this is gonna be delicious. Buckle up buttercup because this is gonna happen right now. This here bison brisket is red, nice and very lean. I got these briskets from my friends at The Honest Bison. They have all the well-known cuts, steaks and more in different fashions like elk, venison, beef and today's topic, bison. And they also have great prices in their stock. All their catalog come from free raised and grass-fed stock and it is 100% American meats. So if you ever want to eat a little bit healthier or cook any of the cuts I do in this video, check the link below in the description and use the coupon code to save you some caching. And yes, leanness is the main problem we will have to take care of in this cook. And we are looking to smoke this brisket as we do with any other beef brisket. But as the main difference you will find is that beef brisket is full of fat. It has a lot of marbling in the meat itself what we call intermuscular fat. And also a big fat cap on the top. As a fact, there is so much fat in the beef brisket that anyone will recommend you to trim it off as much as possible before doing anything with it. I smoke briskets without trimming before, and it can be a little bit unsettling when you serve it. In any case, going back to our bison brisket, we can see the absence of all that fat. No fat cap on the top of the brisket to trim, and the intermuscular fat is not very visible at all. And that will do several things in the cook. One, we need to be extra careful. It is my first time cooking bison brisket after all, so we have to not overcook it. Lean meat has less fat to play with, and that means it can get tough and dry in a heartbeat. I'm sure this brisket will result in something to remember, but we will have to be extra careful with it. The meat will shrink a lot less because it's very lean. You can expect to lose 20 to 30% of the weight of a brisket from when you get it on the store to by the time it's done. And most of that loss comes from the fats rendering inside. The more fat the brisket has, the biggest the loss in the smoker. And of course, the tender it'll be. Number three, cooking time is not gonna be the same as a regular brisket. Just because of the size of this piece of meat, I already know it will be done before the other brisket. That can be a pro if you really want to have good results faster. But if you're cooking one next to the other like I'm doing here, then it is something to keep in mind. I will be cooking both in my sea grill pellet grill to easy out the execution. And we'll cook them both together so I can give you more reliable information about the difference in the cook itself. Now, let's get them prepared. For both briskets, I'll use mayo as a binder. I found that the oils in the mayo enrich the bark greatly, and the vinegar in it adds a nice fragrance to the spices in the rub. For the rub, I will use Neo Serap brisket rub. Besides using only salt and pepper, this is my favorite rub for brisket, as it adds a very nice, bold, and zesty flavors to the meat. Always make sure that all the meat is covered with a nice layer of rub, leaving nothing to chance. And we will rest them both in the fridge until tomorrow, so the seasoning can get to work as it should. It is early in the morning and the grill is already getting to temperature. Both of our briskets are out of the fridge and this is the perfect time to add the meter thermometers to them. This is a must if you are cooking something for the first time. Temperature is the only guide you'll have into the unknown. So if you don't have it, go and get a thermometer right now. Don't even think about it. And with all that done, it is time to get the briskets in the grill. As I mentioned in previous videos, one thing you can overlook is experience, in smoking or cooking in general. I know that my grill gets hotter on the left side, so I will use that in my advantage and set the point of the brisket towards that area. And the bison brisket, as it is smaller and flattened, will go all the way to the right. Now it's just a matter of letting them cook. I will remove them both when the internal temperature gets to 175 degrees for the wrap. Well, as suspected, the bison brisket got to temperature before the regular brisket. And again, that's good in this case. So it is time to take it out for the wrap. If you remember, in the beginning of the video, I made a big deal about how lean this meat was. And now is when we get to try and fix that a little bit. This here is bison tallow. I also got from the Honest Bison. 
And this is what we will use to try and incorporate fat into the brisket. Also, something else that I'm doing different will be to use aluminum foil for the wrap. Paper works great because it allows the meat to breathe, meaning allowing the juices to escape through the pores of the paper. But that is something we are not trying to do here. I want the juices to stay in the meat, so aluminum foil is the best option right now. A good drizzle of bison tallow will go right on the foil. Sit the brisket right on it and put some more tallow on the top. Remember, this is an experiment and I have no idea if this will work as expected but I got nothing to lose and a lot to gain. Once it is all wrapped, set it back in the grill and cook it until tender inside. Now it is time for the beef brisket to be wrapped. And yes, we could wrap it in paper and all that jazz, but I think that wrapping an aluminum foil will make this comparison fair. And once again, I will set it back in the grill until tender inside. A good guide in brisket is to wait for the internal temperature to get over 195 degrees before you start proofing for tenderness. So keep the thermometers in and keep an eye on it. Unexpectedly, the beef brisket is done before the bison one. I'm poking it in different places and it's tender all the way. So let's take it out without removing the aluminum foil and let it rest in the cooler so it can release heat slowly. 15 minutes later, the bison brisket got proof tender and ready so we will do the same and allow it to rest. These are the total times it took me to cook them both. And as you can see, the difference is minimal. All right, Miss Ninja, here we have the brisket, and it's time for us to give it a good try. Yeah, let's do it, because you caught me at the door. I was on my way out, she, right? She was leading me. She I was, was quitting like, me. Hero, let's go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you have to beg somebody to drive brisket. Yes. That's a new thing in this house, man. <laughs> All right, Miss Ninja, we have two different briskets here, uh -huh. and I want you to tell me which one you like the best. Then let's go. It looks, they all look amazing. You look see at the, the bark. smoke ring is perfect. perfect. Bark is perfect. Everything is beautiful. Yes, it is. Let's give this baby a try. Let me get one here in the middle. Mm -hmm. Oh, Miss Ninja. I'm excited, Miss Ninja, for this one. Are you? What yeah. kind of get animal it. is this? Get it. Let's go for it. Mm. Oh my God. Wow. Super, super, extremely tender. You know what it tastes like? What? Beef jerky. It has a strong flavor, guys. Really beefy. This is really good. strong. Real good, man. Woo, I love it. Oh my God. I'm that rub. Oh. It falls apart. Mm. Now, let's give this other one a try. Mm -hmm. Let's get the same same stay from the same place. That's it. Mm. I'm not that man now, huh? No, I'm not. But I gotta go. I really gotta go. <laughs> All right, we have the second one here. Let's give it a good try. <laughs> Say it, Miss Ninja. Say it. Say yeah, it, Miss Ninja. Just brother. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like that one? I mean, each one have their own good. I don't think there is right or wrong. Tell me. But I love this one because it tastes like beef jerky. It's strong, guys. It's real strong. Love it. The other one is the flavor is really mellow. Mm -hmm. is, is the flavor of the regular brisket. This is just a regular brisket, this thing. Oh, okay, okay. This is a bison brisket. No way. Look at that Love beauty. It. Man, Love it. taste is great. It, it's not as juicy as the other one. Let's put it that way. But it's not lacking in juices. Tenderness is amazing. Flavor-wise, the rub and the whole thing is crazy good. It really sucked those flavors in and it's really good. And man, that's, that's my favorite now. What? I love the flavor. I really like Literally. it. You like it better than the regular brisket? Well, you know, regular brisket is regular brisket. And you try it anytime and you can make it anytime. It's good. But this is different. And I love it. I that love one different. is awesome, guys. All I have to tell you right now will be that this thing is delicious. It is really good. It is really, really recommendable. The prices are like crazy. It tastes great. It, it is something completely unique and different than nobody had tried before mm -hmm. that I know about. And if you ever tried before, you please let me know in the comments. And if you haven't, 
You let me know in the comments too. And remember that I'm leaving a link to, to the uh, Honest Bison website down there in the description. You can check it out. You can buy some stuff and you can save some money if you use the coupon that I'm leaving down there. So guys, you should really go and give this a try. I it know. is really good. It is really unique and it's delicious. Is there something wrong with this, guys? What is wrong with that guy? I don't know. What? Where are your comments, guys? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's leaving comments. Is there something wrong with you guys? They're shy. They're shy. Oh. They're shy, very shy. Ooh. They are really, really shy. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to ask you a question. What? Did I make you hungry? Did he? If we made you hungry, you had to hit us with a like. Yes, give us a like. Subscribe to the channel, share with your friends and family, and leave a comment. Leave a freaking comment. Nobody's commenting anymore. Oh. I don't know. What's it's, wrong it's with boring. these people? It's boring. What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> Literally. That's all for today, but remember that I love ya. Love you too. See you on the next one. I gotta go.